It's me. Hooray! What are we going to talk about today? I don't know. We'll get there in the end. Obviously, there's something I want to talk... Oh, will you fucking shut up? <laughs> ah! Allow me to switch the phone off. Mm! God, I'm sick of that going off today. But then again, if it wasn't, I'd be... Oh, nobody loves me. <laughs> Christmas, New Year. Gone. 2019, here we come. I put a little image up a few days... Ish you go. I'm going to be selfish this year and I'm going to look after me. I'm going to look after my mental health. I'm going to look after my happiness. How do I achieve that? I achieve that by helping you become happy. Isn't that good? Helping you become happy. How do I do that? <sighs> That's the hard bit. Well, it isn't actually. I looked back recently, well, this morning. As I was lying in bed at four o'clock, I had an epiphany. Oi, I said an epiphany. Anything else? Well, yeah, that would be an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> I had an epiphany. What's made me happy throughout the years? The happiest I've ever been is when I was the instructor in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. And I thought to myself, why? Well, I had the power. Power! Over recruits. Jump! And they wouldn't come down until I told them to. Run! They wouldn't stop. Until they ran out of breath. And I used to run out of breath a long way before they ever would. And so I thought to myself, well, what was it? Well, it wasn't the power. Pfft, power means nothing, really. You can have the power, but you can have no respect. You can have the power, but nobody wants to follow you. So it wasn't that. What gave me the greatest buzz was seeing them pass out after initially 13 weeks and then it went down to 10 weeks from joining as long-haired yetis and passing out as trained soldiers before they went off to the trade training to become a vehicle mechanic, recovery mechanic, avionics technician, armourer. Um, what else was there? Well, that'll do for now. But initially they would meet me and there was there was quite a few of us as well that would be in different platoons of 16. Or it started at 64, then it went down to 32s. And we would take them through this, this training and off they would go. And people over the years, over these last few years, oh, I remember you, you were this, you were that, you were the other. Which is great. You made a big impact on the lives. And I haven't really found anything since leaving in 30 years to bring me the same satisfaction that I had back then and I've been searching for it ever since and it's a difficult thing to achieve but I found it with the motorbike I find it with the motorbike that with making my films and doing my books and all the rest of it the joy hopefully that I bring to you the instructions that I can give to you to come and explore an area see places you've never seen Enjoy an area. Anybody can ride through with their head down and the arse in the air. That's not a skill. The skill is taking your time to ride through. Taking the countryside in, the views in, the atmosphere in. Discovering the history of the area. Getting off your bike and going and learning something. That's what, for me, motorbikes is all about. Motorbike is just a form of transport that makes you smile, that makes you feel alive, that makes you feel at one with the world. And that's the closest I've ever been. And I'm going to hopefully increase the satisfaction that I'm going to receive by bringing joy to you again. And that's through establishing, God willing, a series of tours in India and beyond to take you across and to show you places you've never seen. For you to experience the same amazement, my God, going along a road and round a corner and just going, what? That doesn't exist in this world. Staying in places that you feel, oh my God, I never want to leave. Eating food that makes your tongue explode through the beautiful flavours that they have. And having an experience that you've never experienced before that will change your life forever. That 
will bring me satisfaction because you will get the pleasure from it. And when I see people having pleasure from what I've done, well, that brings me satisfaction. That gives me mental satisfaction. That puts a smile on my face. Somebody said to me many years ago, you can have whatever you want in this world as long as you help enough people to achieve what they want in the world as well. So that's what I'm aiming to do this year. Thumper and me sitting in the tree. Thumper and me riding Britain and doing more books and videos and stories. And The videos are going to change. You may have seen recently I've been doing full films. And that's what I'm going to be continuing with, the full film, not the stages that I've done before. With more history and more stories and more heritage and more discoveries. So, again, anybody can ride a bike and go down the road. It's being able to give you the information that makes you smile. Or it makes you go, oh my God, I want to go there. So that's what my 2019 is going to be all about. I hope you enjoy it as I look for my red button. And I hope... We meet on the road. And until we do. <laughs> bye bye for now.